Here we go, here we go. What's up everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Bredo and right here with the fun is that. So today, I'll be reacting to scary animated stories, man. Yeah. I don't know if they are stories or if it's a story because when I read the title of that video, did he actually specify? Bro, I don't know how many videos am I reacting to, but I really feel like there's one and I would really like it if it's one because it's late right now. It's like, it's like 1 a.m. It's just like 2 a.m., bruh. It's 1.51 right now. 1.51 a.m. So I'd really appreciate it if it's a one animated scary story, man. I don't want to go, uh, yeah. Freda fam, listen. I'll be posting new videos every Saturday. New video every Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday. Saturday and Sunday at 7 a.m. PST. 7 a.m. PST on Saturday and Sunday. So basically, uh, South Africa is nine hours ahead of the Pacific time. So if I'm saying I'm posting at 7 a.m. PST, then that basically would mean that um, I'll be dropping at four o'clock in South Africa, man. So don't get it confused. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your post notifications. You feel me? We going crazy, you feel me? We going crazy, you feel me? Everybody comment down below, please, cause we going crazy, you feel me? <laughs> Let's get into the video, man. Man, man, this scary story better not be that scary, man. I, I know it's supposed to be scary, but it better not be that scary, man. I, I don't want to put myself while I'm in my sheet. Yeah, I just don't want to do that, man. Yeah, let's watch the video, man. The only reason I became an Uber driver is the flexible work hours, which could go perfectly with my college schedule. My family was totally out of the picture when it came to my financial stability. My mom was a drug addict, and I never met my dad. So, working for Uber helped me stand on my own feet. I didn't have any plans for last weekend, so I decided to make good money. I started driving at around 10 p.m. and planned on finishing up at around 2. Since most rides were going between buildings on campus, I knew I'd be able to get a lot of drives within those four hours. Everything went smoothly in the first few rides. I had to drive drunk college kids to their dorms. At about 1.30, I got a notification that someone had requested a ride. Looking closer, I noticed where the ride was heading. It was some random address a few towns over, much farther than I'd gone with any of my other drives that night. At the moment, this made it more appealing to accept, since the longer the ride, the more I get paid. It didn't seem like a sketchy area or anything like that, so I accepted the request. It only took me four to five minutes to get to the address where I was supposed to pick up the last passenger of the night. The man didn't have a profile picture, but his name was Rudy. It also seemed... So all the people that you were taking from point A to point B have profile pictures on the account. Only Rudy does not have a profile picture. Rudy just decided to not have a profile picture on his account. I would have turned at that time, man. It's all brown. And why? Wait, two scary Uber horror stories animated. So we reacted to two stories. Yeah, man, yeah, man, man. But there were too many, man. But hey, this gotta tell you something, bro. Rudy does not have a profile picture. You don't know who you're getting. But hey, let me just say, like, uh, he knows where to stop. As an Uber driver, he knows where he's supposed to be stopping, so. I just don't like this Rudy guy. Bro, I just don't like this Rudy guy. I, I feel like there there's a lot behind him. Now, let's, let's watch the video, man. Like he didn't have any rider ratings, meaning his account was either brand new or he just never used it. Huh? I made there's a right turn onto on the me. street where the address was located. And as I turned around, I started to think that maybe someone pranked me. The street was completely spooky. All the houses seemed abandoned or under construction. Graffiti, broken windows, boarded up front doors. I couldn't imagine anyone possibly living there, let alone having a party there. 
Suddenly, I noticed a man standing at some distance. He was looking the opposite way. Right, that, that's only one person on the street. There's only one person in that street. And you're supposed to trust them. That street doesn't have any lights, bro. It just, it's just dull, man. It's just dry. Like th there's no life there, man. This Rudy guy, you can just definitely see him, bro. He's up to no good. That dude better not step out of that car. Then this would, the, if he does, bro, then this is the most dumbest Uber driver I've ever seen, bro. Way which felt strange. Even stranger, he started waving. Not waving at me. My car wasn't even close enough for him to be doing that. Was he, he was out it? on the lawn, facing across the street, just Why waving at waving? nothing. I thought once I approached the final destination, I would see some newer, fancier house built on the street that I'd never seen before. I was very wrong. The house that I approached, which was behind the lawn my passenger was standing on, looked almost more broken down than the rest. I stopped the car right in front of the lawn, which is when I finally got a chance to focus on the man's frame for a brief moment. He was of average height, dressed in a black jacket and brown joggers. He I, I swear to God, man, I did not plan that. Bro, I, I swear to God, I did not plan that, bro. I swear to God, I did not plan that, bro. I did not plan that. And nobody planned this, man. <laughs> now this scary story is about to go crazier, man. It's load shedding. What time is it, bro? It's 2 in the morning, man. And load shedding just decided to strike me, bro. I did not plan this, I swear to God. I did not plan. This is who's cheating, bro. But hey, let's continue watching. I did not plan this. I did not plan this, man. Let's continue watching. Still waving, but now seeing the car headlights, he stopped and turned around. My car lights illuminated his face pretty well, and that's when I almost peed my pants. The man had a horrible face. He had a stitched up grin spreading ear to ear. Someone performed surgery on his face, making a Mr. Smiley face forever. I wanted to drive off canceling the ride, but as soon as our eyes met, I couldn't help but stop the car. He opened the passenger side door and sat next to me. For some reason, this sent a shiver up my spine. After directing my phone to start the navigation, I decided to start a conversation. So, you live here, huh? Not anymore. His voice sounded weird as he talked, retaining that grinning face. Oh, I see. He kept staring at me with that disturbing face and I could feel my blood freezing. I wanted to ask him what was wrong with his face, but I didn't want to do anything to piss him off. I kept on driving silently when he asked me in that same disturbing voice. Do you mind if I eat? Normally, I would say no, but again, I didn't want to make... Don't allow him to eat, man. Don't allow him to eat. <laughs> no, don't, don't do that, man. You don't know if you're the dinner or if he actually has something to eat. Don't allow him to eat. For you might be the dinner, man. <laughs> this guy mad no that's fine go ahead thanks he took out a bundle of aluminum foil and started to unwrap his food i couldn't see what exactly he was eating but he was making a lot of sounds while doing so his food was squishy and soggy with every bite i could hear a loud chomp that made me nauseous also a foul smell of his food choked the air inside the car would you mind if i rolled down the windows no. Go ahead. Uh, After a disturbing moment of hearing this creepy man eat, I watched too. him finally finish the food. He threw too, the man. wrapper away and turned his head towards me. Now his face changed into a way scarier look. 
I guessed whatever he ate had too much ketchup in it. And now the red ketchup was smeared all over his toothy grin. His mouth, teeth, and hands were covered in that red, thick liquid. The man said, Do you have water? Um, sure. There's a bottle under your seat. I was freaking out at this point, but somehow I managed to be calm. His destination was 15 minutes away and I was praying to God for this night to end quickly. The man grabbed the bottle, drank some water, and then suddenly asked a question that almost stopped my heart. Are you scared of me? Wh what Does my face scare you? Um, no. What is there to be scared about, sir? I'm just here to do my job. I answered, without end of sobbing, I fear. The man moved the rearview mirror towards him, looked his face in it, and said, When I was a little kid, I had difficulty smiling. My mom got so angry at me as I always ruined every family photo, being the grumpy face. I remember how kids in school bullied me for being a creep. Once I turned 16, I left my house to search for something that will make me smile. And did you find it? No, but that didn't stop me from smiling. Because I did find someone who finally put a smile on my face, which will stay like this forever. Is that the friend you were waving at when I came to pick you up? <laughs> You're not just a good driver, but also a clever boy. Yes. I came here to show my friend the perfect family picture where I could finally smile. Oh, what, what did your friend say? He was proud of his work. In fact, you've been so nice to me. Do you want to see the picture too? I would love to show you. Yeah, show him the picture. <laughs> show him the picture, man. Not knowing what to say, I remained silent. The man slowly took out his phone from his jacket pocket and showed me his perfect family photo. I will never forget what I saw. It was a selfie taken inside a house. An old woman was lying dead on the couch. Her mouth was wide open like she died in terrible shock. And this man was crouched down to her level, looking at the camera, flaunting his big grin. I took this with my mother today. I am so happy that my smiling face was the last thing she saw before leaving this world. <laughs> my friend did a good job, didn't he? No. Bro, why is he so happy about that, man? What? Why is he happy, man? And why is he laughing like that? Right? I, I got a lot of questions. What, why is he laughing like that, man? And why... So, like... She died? Was she... Was the mother supposed to die? Bro, I got a lot of questions, bro. But, hey. We're not gonna finish this story. Oh, I can smile all the time. <laughs> all the freaking time. <laughs> Everyone will call me the smiling man. <laughs> I couldn't talk anymore. I just felt my body shutting down in fear. My vision got blurry and I passed out while driving the car. I woke up two hours later in the hospital. A truck driver found my car crashed into a tree on the side of the road. Luckily, I had no injury, which seemed surprising to the cops as well as the doctors. None of them found a man that matched my description. When I think about that night, I get a lot of doubts that it was real. Did I really pick up Rudy? The smiling man. That was Rudy, all right. I was returning home. Nah, nah. It's no sitting in South Africa, man. There's no lights behind me. I didn't plan this. And you want me to watch another scary story? You, you guys think I would, I would basically watch another scary story? I got my phone flashing on my face. Bro, that's the end of the video, bro. 
Uh, I'm on this thing. That's the end of the video. I'm on this thing, man. I did this for you. Like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn your post notifications, man. I'm on this thing.